Retiring on an island can be a beginning of an exotic experience. Many people who want to retire on an island are looking for a simpler way of life. Investing in a home on an island where you want to retire allows you to set up a rent-free retirement. Today, we'll tell you about the 10 best islands to buy a retirement property. Number 10. Aruba White sand beaches, turquoise waters, and year-round temperatures in the 80s. It sounds like paradise, and it could be your retirement destination. Located less than 20 miles north of the Venezuelan coast, Aruba is a self-governing part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. The island lies outside of the hurricane belt and experiences only about 20 inches of rain annually. This guarantee of good weather makes Aruba one of the best places to retire in the Caribbean. Retiring in Aruba requires a minimum annual income as well as the purchase of either property or lease rights on land owned by the island. Non-residents can seek a special tourist visa that allows them to stay up to 180 days, which should be plenty of time to find the perfect retirement spot. Number 9. U.S. Virgin Islands The U.S. Virgin Islands are undoubtedly the best Caribbean islands to retire to if you want all the perks of Caribbean life without the hassle of securing a visa. Since this territory belongs to the United States, U.S. citizens need neither a visa nor a passport to visit or reside here. Another perk for U.S. citizens here is access to Medicare. There is, however, one decidedly un-American quirk to watch out for, left side driving. This rule of the road is made odder by the fact that virtually all vehicles on the islands feature left hand drive since they are imported from the United States. Low crime rates, gorgeous beaches, historic sites, and protected wildlife areas beckon visitors and residents alike. Unsurprisingly, this popular vacation spot has a relatively high cost of living. Healthcare services are available, but residents should be prepared to travel to the mainland for some major procedures, especially since the U.S. Virgin Islands are located in the hurricane belt and facilities are not immune to occasional storm damage. Number 8. Malta Malta may be a tiny archipelago in the central Mediterranean Sea, but history buffs can find endless inspiration here during their retirement. Malta's location between Sicily and the North African coast made it strategic for a succession of empires that sought control of the Mediterranean, and as a result, its islands have been ruled by a variety of powers, including the Romans, Arabs, French, and British. The country's main architecturally imported sites are a record of its turbulent history. Eligibility for individuals and families seeking this residence permit, which features a special tax rate, depends on economic self-sufficiency, health insurance, and minimum property value requirements. The permit must be renewed annually. Excellent and affordable health care, low crime rate, and a temperate climate are among the many reasons why Malta is an attractive retirement destination. Number 7. The Bahamas Made up of more than 700 islands and islets off of Florida's southeastern coast, the Bahamas offers endless opportunities for people who dream of beachside living. There are two pathways to residency for those who wish to retire in the Bahamas. Foreigners may apply for permanent residency if they can prove financial independence as well as ownership of property in the Bahamas, with speedy consideration given to those who have purchased a residence valued at $750,000 or more. Those who plan on retaining a primary residence elsewhere can still apply for a homeowner identification card, which must be renewed annually if they acquire a second residence in the Bahamas. The Bahamas has no income tax, capital gains tax, inheritance tax, or wealth tax. Major healthcare facilities are in Nassau and Freeport, 
with clinics spread out among smaller cities, although some residents make the journey to Florida for certain procedures. Number 6. Dominican Republic Comprising the eastern two-thirds of the Caribbean Isle of Hispaniola, the Dominican Republic is proof that living on an island doesn't have to mean breaking the bank. Not only is the cost of living lower than it is in the U.S., but the financial requirements for a retirement visa are modest, too. The Dominican Republic doesn't have a tax treaty with the U.S., so some residents may experience double taxation on certain income. But Social Security and pension income are tax-exempt. One big budget item to consider is health care since most expatriates will find themselves needing to purchase private insurance. While you might be able to get by speaking only English, Spanish is the country's official language, so it would be a good idea to pick up some Spanish skills. Retirees should be mindful of high crime rates when choosing their neighborhood in the Dominican Republic. Number 5. Phu Quoc, Vietnam Sitting in the Gulf of Thailand, just off the western coast of Vietnam, the island of Phu Quoc is drawing a small but enthusiastic community of retirees. Vietnam does not offer a retirement visa, so the most popular way for foreigners to live in the country is to make visa runs. A visa can last up to a year before it must be renewed, but the visa holder can only stay in the country for three months at a time. So, at the end of three months, retirees leave Vietnam for a day or two before returning for another three months visit. In most cases, foreigners cannot buy a residence since the land it sits on is government owned. The simplest solution is to rent, and most retirees choose a neighborhood near the coast. Though the island's cost of living is higher than some parts of Vietnam, it is still much lower than that of many U.S. cities. Number 4. San Juan Islands, Washington If your vision of the best island for retirement includes cool weather and a hefty dose of peace and quiet, look no further. Situated in the upper Puget Sound in the Pacific Northwest of the United States, the San Juan Islands are the visible portion of a partially submerged mountain chain. The resulting archipelago comprises hundreds of islands and rock structures. These verdant hilly islets are home to pebbly beaches that often feature more driftwood than visitors, but their tranquil beauty is a huge draw for retirees seeking the quiet island life. Most of the population lives on Orcas Island and San Juan Island, the two largest of the archipelago. Both islands have ferry service, and medical care, but many residents go to the mainland for major procedures. Friday Harbor, the seat of San Juan County, is located on San Juan Island and serves as the cultural hub of the area, complete with museums, galleries, restaurants, a vineyard, and a farmer's market. The cost of living is higher than average, but there are some trade-offs such as low crime rates and Washington's status as a relatively tax-friendly state for retirees. Number 3. Mallorca, Spain Located in the Mediterranean Sea, some 100 miles off the coast of Barcelona, is Mallorca, the largest of Spain's Balearic Islands. Retirees here can enjoy a social, active lifestyle filled with mountain hiking, cycling, sailing, swimming, and diving. A non-lucrative residence visa, occasionally called a retirement visa, enables foreigners to live in Spain long term, provided they meet certain requirements. The visa holder must live in Spain for at least six months out of the year. They cannot accept paid work and they must have private health insurance in addition to a minimum monthly income determined by the government. The visa must be renewed annually, but expats who have lived in Spain for five years become eligible for a permanent residence permit. Benefits of living in Mallorca include excellent health care, easy flights from Palma de Mallorca Airport, and a tax treaty with the U.S. that prevents double taxation on income. Retirees who can speak Spanish will have an obvious advantage when settling into the Mallorca life. 
But it should be noted that the island has a second official language, Catalan. Number 2. Penang, Malaysia Penang is an island situated in the Strait of Malacca, just off the northeast coast of Malaysia. This geographically and culturally diverse island has been luring retirees in droves thanks to its tropical climate and affordable lifestyle. The Malaysia My Second Home program is a government initiative developed to attract foreigners who are interested in long-term residence in Malaysia. Applicants who fill out the necessary criteria are granted a 10-year renewable social visit pass with a multiple entry visa. Requirements include proof of financial stability and private medical insurance. Malaysia does not tax income earned abroad, so social security and pension income are tax-free. The cost of living is low compared to average costs in the U.S., so retirees may be able to secure luxurious beach view housing for a comfortable price. Number 1. Hilton Head Island, South Carolina This island off the coast of South Carolina's low country has become a haven for retirees, so there's a built-in community waiting for you should you decide to settle here. Hilton Head Island boasts many amenities that appeal to retirees, such as multiple public beach access points, a plethora of golf courses, an airport, walking and biking trails, and several parks and nature preserves. The coastal climate makes outdoor pursuits possible year-round, though the weather can be hot and muggy in the summer months. The cost of living in Hilton Head is above average and real estate is pricey, but South Carolina is a tax-friendly state for retirees. Social Security benefits are tax-exempt, with further income tax exemptions available for those 65 and older. Property tax rates on Hilton Head Island are relatively low, and several homestead exemptions may reduce one's tax bill even more. There is a hospital and several clinics on the island, but a short trip to the mainland may be required for major procedures. Do let us know in the comments where you want to spend and enjoy your retirement life. Please subscribe to Travel the World. Thanks for watching.